my wife gets on me for worrying, but it's my job to worry. It's it keeps me functional, keeps me sane. If I were to get too comfortable with something, then I wouldn't put best foot forward. You know, I'd be like, oh, it's all going to work out. So I have to worry. You see, I left the job after the first day, which is probably the most irresponsible thing. Like, it, regardless to my, my theory there was solid, regardless to how I was being treated, I should have stuck with it. It was very irresponsible of me, but I did so knowing that I had this job at this clothing store. Now... Asia got her paperwork and this email to sign up to get her hours and pay and everything. Kari got the same email. I did not. Only because I'm missing some paperwork. Now, I've got the same welcome email. Hey, welcome to the company. You know, I've got the I-9s and I've, I've got my orientation date. Told how much I was going to be making. Was told when to show up. But I didn't get those emails because, again... There's paperwork that I don't have in. So their HR or whoever it was sent me that paperwork. So I printed it out, filled them out. I'm going to take them in. That'll be the end of it. But until I physically hand them the papers and say, hey, here it is. And they go, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, we, it's fine. I'm going to be apprehensive about it. See, I have to worry because if I didn't, then I'd have been like, Psh, whatever, I got the job, it's fine, you know, it's their fault, they screwed up. And I'd have got there and they'd have been like, look, man, you don't have the paperwork, what you want us to do? So, worrying just helps me cover my bases. Uh, I'm going to cut this one short, might actually be just two minutes, cross my fingers, everything's going to work out in the morning. We got to get up pretty early, I'm going to eat, enjoy the evening with my wife, and uh, I'll let you know how it went.